Hi, I'm Robert Gephardt and I'm a freelance translator and I work from home. I've been doing this for about four or five years now, I guess, and I just wanted to emphasize that I live, look, I live in an apartment. I'm not going to give you the house tour like, you know, some of these internet people do who tell you, oh, work from home and earn on all these millions and blah, blah, blah. But I do earn a living from working from home. I do as a freelance translator. And in fact, look, if I can do this, no, it doesn't let me show you the other side, but I can probably show you that I live in an apartment. And this is the room I'm recording this in right now. And more than that, I'm married and so, but we don't have kids, so we've been quite flexible, we've been able to travel. And last year we've lived in, in DC, in the United States, in Taiwan, and right now I'm in Switzerland. And so we have this flexibility, but soon, you know, it might change and we might have kids, in which case I'll have the flexibility to be there for my kid, kids, you know, which is something that to me is great. I feel right now that if you speak more than one language, or especially if you're able to translate from one language to the other, then there's no reason that you can't be earning a living for yourself working online. Well, this is the reason that I have created the course that I'm talking about right now. So when I was first studying languages, this wasn't a career path that most people would be choosing, right? But then again, when I was studying languages, this wasn't really an option to be able to work online, find clients that are on the other side of the globe while you're home and just work with them and work for them and get paid by them, right? So now, as I said, I work from home and I work as a freelance translator and I realized a couple things. I realized that A, I made a bunch of mistakes on the way here. I made a bunch of avoidable wrong turns when I was starting out just because I didn't know what to do. And B, there's actually no course out there that tells people what the right turns are. And so there's no way to avoid making these mistakes over and over again for every new person who's starting out. And to me, this seemed ridiculous. So that's why I created this course. So I set up this online course that deals with the quote-unquote business side of translation as opposed to the linguistic side. You can find courses out there that teach you more about your language or about translation from one language to another or about increasing your skills as a translator. But this course focuses solely on working for yourself and earning a living and everything else that comes with it. It teaches you to use your translation skills in order to work for yourself rather than working for another company or another translation agency or in-house for someone else. This course here covers the initial setup. It covers first contact with potential clients and agencies out there. And then it covers how to attract the client's interest and maximize your chances of being selected for a job, how to retain clients for future jobs, how to deal with payments or lack thereof, as well as a bunch of tips and tricks of the trade as well as websites and programs and links that might be useful to you as a freelance translator. Once again, what the course does not cover is linguistics and translation itself, which can be covered by other courses and also is different for every different language. So once again, this course is now available on Udemy and on Vimeo. The links will be down in the description below. And the price is basically the minimum it allows me to, uh, to charge. Now, the way I feel about it, that shouldn't be too much of a big deal because honestly, if it helps you even to get one client, then it more than pays for itself, right? And especially if you get repeat clients from it, then yeah, then it's worth earning a living from. And so I really think it's worth it for you. Also, the price I charge just basically helps me to keep it up there. It helps me to keep it on the websites because I have to pay for these websites to host it and you know to host all my videos and all the information I have. So anyway, Feel free to check it out. Once again, the links are in the description below. And then if you have any feedback or any constructive criticism or any pointers, things you think I should add or subtract or anything from it, please feel free to let me know. Everywhere I leave ample room for comments and uh, for you to uh, leave your two cents. You can also leave them here. So please let me know because I'm always interested in you know trying to make it better and trying to make it more useful for people like you who are thinking or who are just starting out in freelance translation and I want it to be useful, as useful as possible to you guys. So anyway, check out the links here below. Also, these videos that are here on YouTube are always going to be free, so feel free to subscribe. And I'll keep coming up with, again, random tips and tricks of the trade, and that's pretty much it for now. So thanks.
Bye.